Okay, so now our partner is, you know, playing inverted, they're going barambolo. Leg attacks are a great way to shut them down. Anytime your, your partner's legs are flailing in the air, man, attack them. And give them a reason to hide their legs. Don't let people just do whatever they want. Because if you do, they're going to take advantage and one thing leads to another. Like I say, it's just like life. You know, people, unfortunately, they're going to push you as far as they possibly can until you give them a reason not to do so anymore. And that's just facts. You know, anyone who disagrees, uh, I have about 10 arguments proving you wrong. You know, and, and it, it's very similar in jiu-jitsu. If you give somebody something, they're going to take it. And then they're going to take something else. And they're going to take something else, okay? So the barambolo often happens, you know, when you're starting trying to lead with one leg, okay? Partner starts trying to invert and go upside down. Now, one thing we got to understand, what did I just allow him to do? I allowed him to free his far leg. So he's going to come back in this position. The moment I feel him catching that leg, boom, I'm controlling the shin. The moment he starts to spin, I'm allowing the spin, but look, I'm sitting into my partner, all right? The first thing I'm going to do, bring my hands right to the foot, come up, allow the spin, toll is right there. Now, the problem for him in this position is his spin is stopped by my leg, all right? I want to spin just a little bit more to have a better bite on this toe. I don't need to go over the toe hold again. Top three toes, touching the toes to the butt. Boom, that's number one. Number two, pulling that leg in. I'm gonna come right above the knee line. Pulling that leg in, boom. I have my knee bar right there immediately, all right? I love the knee bar from this position, all right? Because he's so controlled there's nowhere to go. If he goes to spin out of this, I allow the spin, I switch the foot, throw it to the trap, I'm into the lat, boom, I have this knee bar here. This is all initiated from a barambola, all right? So, let's see again. I'm in this position. I want you guys to understand, you don't even need to wait for him to roll. Anytime you get in this position, it's like a modified De La Hiva for him, all right? This leg is caught. Grab, grab, pull. Start to sit. As you do, lock up that toe. Now look, this leg is already caught. Okay, so as he rolls, you're stopping the roll. I have the toe hold. Now, most people from here, when they pull this leg through, they're thinking about how to get to the Achilles or the heel hook. Guys, you have a perfect knee bar. Like, I literally have a toe hold and a knee bar at the same time. How terrible is this for him? One, two. All right. He rolls out. I stay with it. Controlling. Switching. Tucking. Okay. Anytime your partner leaves the legs out, give them a reason not to. And now from this position, if we're caught here, all right, we don't want to get reversed. There's no reversal yet. Look, easiest way to get on top, lift. Right back on top. If they can't plant their feet, they can't get up. You understand? Always lifting the legs off the mat. That's key. Like, Lifting the legs off the mat, lifting a limb off the mat, uh, just not allowing your partner to plant and post. If they don't do that, they can't get up. So again, your partner locks up that daily heba. They're looking to go from barambolo. Okay, no problem. I have this caught. This knee slides in. He rolls with me. Boom. I have the toe hold. All the way through. Pull. Lock. Give it a try, my friends.